hi welcome back to part two this is the second shelf of my tv series and uh, i'll get started it's got outnumbered series one to four outnumbered the christmas special from 2011 and then series five they've not released any more on dvd yet but as they release them i get them i love to watch outnumbered i can re-watch it over and over again uh, i never seem to get bored of it it's just one of those shows you can put on and laugh um i've got the league of gentlemen um, series 1, 2 and 3 and the Christmas special which obviously was the complete collection uh, before but not now I need to buy the new series that they recently did which I loved seeing that about League of Gentlemen is probably one of my favourite shows ever um, The League of Gentlemen Apocalypse which I didn't love but it was okay um, I kind of wanted my collection so I could watch it again if I wanted to I haven't got the live ones I actually used to have the live at Drury Lane I think it was on video years ago that's how old i am <laughs> and um i never repurchased it and i would like to at some point because uh, i also love to rewatch this i've watched the series many many times um and i think the genius the guys that do it which is why i've also got psychoville series one and two which i really liked um probably my least favorite of all the shows that they've done well some of the guys um one of the guys wasn't involved in these other shows um but two of the main guys are in Psychoville and Inside Number 9. Um, I really liked it, but probably my least favourite because Inside Number 9, which is next um, here, I've got Series 1 and 2, and I've also got Series 3, which for some reasons... Oh, I know it's down here because I was re-watching it. Um, I've also got Series 3, but I'm re-watching that at the moment, so it's, it's not on the shelf. Um, I still need to get Series 4... Uh, which has come out recently. I love Inside of My Nine. I always thought League of Gentlemen was the best. They couldn't beat it. And it's still kind of one of my favourites because I've liked it for a lot of years now. But Inside Number Nine, if you haven't watched it, is genius. Um, every story is different. It's all related to Number Nine. Like the house number could be Number Nine or... It, it relates to that in some way, but they're all different stories and they're so clever. They always have like a twist. And if you haven't watched any of their shows watch Inside Number 9. I think anybody could like that. They are so, so clever. Um, Look Around You, which is a show I've not really heard anyone talk about before, um, but it's very, very funny. It's sort of uh, a bit of a take on like an old uh, 70s science sort of show, you know, that they used to show you at school. I don't know if they still sort of do. Maybe people of a certain age will remember those sort of cheesy science videos you had to watch when they brought the telly trolley out. And it's kind of a take on that. It's really, really clever, really, really sort of dark comedy. But I'd highly recommend this if you do like dark kind of comedy. It's really funny. And then series two was a little bit different. It was more like one of those... Um, I'm trying to think what show it was like. It, it's a similar kind of thing. Uh, it's got Olivia Coleman in, who probably a lot of people know her. Um, I can't really describe what this... It's like... Um, sort of a show where they have different segments about different things. It's, it's similar in the way it is, but it's set out slightly differently and it's really, really clever again. So I would highly recommend that if you're looking for something kind of a bit darker when it comes to comedy. Um, I've got Time Trumpet, which is another kind of dark comedy sort of thing, but this is really funny, actually. This is sort of a new show that's set... It's set in 2031 looking back at the early 2000s which is when it was made so it's sort of a made up history looking back from then and some of the stuff is just so so weird but I really do like the show. I really like dark comedy you'll probably see from my collection uh, I've got Big Train series 1 too, which is another kind of weird comedy sketch show sort of thing um, this again is really clever kind of stuff, stupid but um clever jam is probably the weirdest of all the dark kind of shows i've got this really has got some dark kind of things in it and some people might be offended by it um but i really do like that it's it's weird though uh brass eye is another um kind of dark weird comedy um like it's a different topic for each episode of those and it's just so weird but so funny um, Good Night Sweetheart, which is one of my favourite shows. I used to love watching this when I was younger and then my son really got into it. Um, if you don't know what it is, basically this guy in the 90s finds this like time portal 
uh, to get back to sort of wartime. And so he starts living in two different time periods. And it's really funny. Um, it's got uh, Nicholas Lindhurst from Only Fools and Horses. Um, I'm sure most people um, above a certain age anyway have probably heard of that. Men Behaving Badly, uh, which I haven't seen for years, but I recently bought this so I could rewatch the series because I used to watch it when it was on in the 90s. And I really want to give it a rewatch. Uh, I'm trying to finish off some other box sets first. Same with the British Empire. That's one that I used to watch and loved. So I bought the box set so I can rewatch it all. And then on the end, I've got the two Ronnies, uh, the best of the two Ronnies, um, volume one and volume two. And just really used to like watching them with my dad. So I thought I'd rebuy that and show my son some of them. I think he'll find them quite funny. Uh, I'll just put the row back on in front and show you the rest. And I'll just whiz through these quickly because it's... Uh, getting a bit longer this video i forgot to mention this last time it was off the shelf i've got the complete faulty towers on the end of the other shelf uh the front <laughs> so, so i thought i'd just mention that uh, i've got some others do have them the complete series that's a really funny i think the 70s um it was out but it was always one that was repeated a lot when i was um really young um and i always used to see it on tv my dad really liked that show um, I've got Not Going Out, the complete series 1 to 7. That's all that's available right now. I got this totally on a whim. I was looking for something to watch one day. It was really, really cheap in HMV. And I bought it. We watched the first series and I really didn't really like it at all. Um, but I didn't want to waste it. And I thought I'll try and watch a bit more, see if it gets better. Because sometimes comedies do take a little while to find the feet sort of thing. And series 2 does does get much better. Um, and it gets better as it goes along. Um, we're currently on series five, I think, and it, it's way better than it was in the beginning. So I'm so glad we carried on watching it. It's one we kind of watch slowly, but it's one we always have like a shortish comedy show, which I watch at tea time. Um, and we put on different ones at each tea time. So, you know, it might take us you know, maybe a month to get through a series or something like that because we're watching a few different shows. We pick one each tea time. But um, I do really enjoy that one. It's got a lot funnier. Uh, none of the others are available yet. I don't know if they'll bring them out. There's nowhere to watch series 8 and 9 and then ten's going to be coming out and I think there was a Christmas special. None of that's available. Can't find it anywhere to watch. So hopefully by the time I get to that, I'll be able to watch it somewhere. Um, One Foot in the Grave, the complete collection with the Christmas specials and everything. I love One Foot in the Grave, another 90s show that I used to watch um, and I wanted to buy it and rewatch it and I finished rewatching that one and I loved it. And my son loved it. Um, He's 15 and he absolutely loved it as well. He loves watching like some of the older shows with me and that was one of the favourites that we've seen. Uh, Keeping Up Appearances, I'm currently rewatching that. That's another one of the tea time shows we're watching. Uh, I think we're on series four of that now. So I've only got another series after this. Um, and we're really enjoying watching that. Um, another one we're watching, not tea time, it's a bit of a longer one this, but um, I watched a little bit of it when it was out years ago and then didn't see any more and then just decided to pick it all up because I, I love Cornwall and um, I used to find it really funny and it's another one that my son really got into when I showed him a bit of it. Um, so I picked up series one to six... Uh, series 7 and Series 8 and then Series 9 will be on TV later this year and I think that's it then. Um, we've got two episodes left of Series 8 and then we're all up to date then. Um, another one that my son really likes as well. Um, so we've been watching that sort of in an evening because it's one of the bit longer shows like I said. Um, Benidorm, I... This is another one I picked up just kind of on a whim to watch because it's kind of a shorter show and we don't watch loads of it i kind of like it for years i never wanted anything to do with it i thought oh i hate benadorm and then i realized it was kind of taking a mess out of the kind of people that go to benadorm and i, I kind of got into it and watched some of it um it's not my favorite but actually i do quite like it and in the summer i quite enjoy you know binge watching um a few episodes of it like a, a series about something so it's te it's taking me a while to get through this one i think i'm on series three or four no i think four now um and we just watch like a series a full series binge watch full series and then it might be a few months before we watch another one but we'll get through them i've only got up to series seven at the moment and if i finish series seven then um i'll you know buy buy more um i'm not sure if i might finish with series eight though because uh the carrots that are really liking it um, leave I think after series 8 so I'm not sure if I'll I'll bother after that um, and then I've got the complete Vicar of Dibley on the end which is another just nice 
comfy, cosy, 90s show that I love to watch. And we haven't started a rewatch yet. Um, so my son can watch it with me because this is one he quite wants to watch as well. Uh, I don't think I saw every single episode either when I watched it. I just used to watch it if it was on sort of thing. So uh, at some point we'll start that. I'm hoping to start that sort of when it gets colder weather. I always think it's like a show that I'd like to watch around Christmas time and when it's getting cold weather. So um, that's it for shelf two. This video is a bit longer. I'm sorry about that. Um, but I'll uh, see you soon for the third video. Thanks for watching. Bye.